video, I'm going to show you how you can work with AWS. We've already set up Figueroa and Fog, uh, but if you have never used AWS before, you may not even know where to get your API keys, for example. So uh, the way you grab those is if you click on your name in the top right hand side and click on security credentials, you will see where it says access keys right here. And so uh, I've already grab mine and it won't even let me show like the secret or anything like that. Uh, the way that I'd have to do it is I'd have to click create new access key and then it'll show it to me then uh, just for our security purposes. And like I've already mentioned, uh, this is a guest account or a demo account that I've created that I will be uh, turning all in active uh, as soon as the video is being filmed uh, just for security purposes. So uh, once you have those two items and you've integrated them the way we did in the last video, uh, to set up our buckets, it's pretty easy. You just uh, click on the little cube here here, go to whatever the main dashboard is for AWS and you want S3 and what this is is a CDN it's gonna allow us to very easily integrate our uh, uploads and then access them remotely so uh, just click on S3 and from S3 you'll have the ability to load the dashboard and create buckets so I'm going to set up our first bucket and if you remember I typically like to name them the name of the app dash uh, whatever the environment is so I'm going to do photo flash dash development for region you can pick any of these uh, really you typically just pick the one that's closest to you I just go with US standard uh, don't worry about the other items hit create and that's created and that's all working and that's all it took to commission that it's pretty pretty impressive so uh, next one I need is production and I'm gonna change that to US standard hit create And there we go. Everything's commissioned. It's good to go. And it is all set up properly so we can access it through the API. So in the next video, we're going to go through how to set up fog and configure that so it'll actually communicate with our new buckets we created.